there's many different ways to roll the shoulders and many applications for it. What we're going to do today is going to be for just basic upper body movement. And this is the upper body movement that should flow or come naturally when you do your basic or when you're not thinking about doing some sort of specific styling and your body is just moving. I say naturally in quotations because in the beginning, it may not feel natural to do this. It may be something that needs to be worked on so that it does become second nature in your basic. So we're going to start with the shoulders and then we'll build from the ground up. Taking the arms up, we're gonna build on what we did in our warm up. So our first thing is going to be to actually take the chest before we take the shoulders from side to side. So we're going to extend our chest from one side to the other. For now, even though the arms are up, keep focusing on the chest and just leave the arms and the hands where they end up. The only thing I'll say about the arms is that you wanna have the elbows out slightly so they're not gonna hug in towards your sides. Your palms are facing down to the floor and you have your arms in kind of this relaxed angle instead of them being very strictly parallel to the floor. So drop them a little bit. Okay, so now from this side to side motion, we're going to allow the shoulder to lift just a little bit. Now you don't want to engage your traps up here and crunch into your neck. Instead, you wanna think of lifting the shoulder blade a little further up the back so that your shoulder kind of scoops and reaches from your right to the left. So let's go into that. We're gonna go side to side first. Now, after you take the chest side to side, chest, scoop, chest, scoop, chest, scoop. Now start to go a little bit more continuously with that lift. Now, from there, you're going to lift and then you're gonna roll the shoulder back through a figure eight. So you want to rotate back with that right shoulder. Your left will be slightly forward. Remember this happens after the chest goes to the side. So you're going to lean, rotate, and then lean the other way. If you were looking like a bird's eye view from the top down, you should see a figure eight with the shoulders. So we're going lean right as the chest comes forward, pull it back, left shoulder comes forward, lean first with the chest, roll the shoulder back. Lean and roll, lean and roll, lean and roll. And for now, we're still keeping the arms just in neutral. One thing to watch out for is we're not taking the shoulder up. We're really just leaning from side to side and twisting forward, extending the shoulder slightly forward with the shoulder point coming down a little bit. Lean and roll, lean and roll, as opposed to doing this, which has a different look to it. Let's try that more continuously. We go one, three, five, seven. One, three, five, seven. Next, we're gonna add the arms. So the arms are secondary because what's most important is this movement through our torso and then our shoulders. The arms are going to technically go across the body in a circular motion, like you're trying to reach for your opposite wrist. But that happens because of the torso movement. So if you just move side to side, but we allow the arms to just move and loosen a little bit and swing with our chest, You'll notice, hopefully, that the arms go across the body from one side to the other. Now we're going to take a little bit more control of the arms after the torso movement side to side so that they end up in these circular motions in front of the body. Now holding this here, once you start to twist in towards the figure eight, watch that you're not using your arms and your elbows to make that happen. Otherwise, this will happen where instead of going contra body with the arms, now you're pulling the arms back to move the shoulders. So let's try that again. We go across, three, five, start to twist, one, three, five, seven. One, three, five, seven. Nice. With our basic, we're going to make it a little bit harder and the shoulder movement might be a little bit less obvious because we're moving more. So as we take our one, we reach to our right. One, 
we go forward and we circle forward with the shoulders and torso. Two, back on three, five, six, seven. Again, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven. If you dance on one, same rules apply for the shoulders. You're just going to take a different basic. So you're going to go one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven. Just in case. Back to on two, five, six, basic, and one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven.